To draw a parabola using locus method, the first step to take is to draw a horizontal thin continuous chain line and a vertical thin line. The point where the vertical line intersects the horizontal line should be called G. I have already done this step. The next thing I will do is to position the focus F. This step can be done this way. The length of GF depends on the size of your parabola. Having marked the point F, the next step I will take is to divide line GF into two equal parts. The middle of the line GF should be label V. Next, I will draw lines parallel to the vertical line I drew. These lines should be thin chain lines. I will label the points where these lines intersect the horizontal line H1, H2, H3, H4, and H5. Having done that, the next thing I will do is to cut two arcs on the first thin dash line I drew using the length of GH1 as radius. This step can be done this way. The point where the arc intersects the line should be label A1. Now I will repeat the same procedure for the second thin dash line, but this time I will use radius GH2 and I label the point where the arc intersects the line A2. I will continue with this procedure for the remaining thin dash lines. To produce the curve, I will use my French curve to draw a curve line passing through the points where the arcs intersect the thin dash lines. I am talking about the points I highlighted with red dots. completed the parabola successfully. This is how to draw a parabola using locus method. You can always follow this easy step to draw any given parabola using locus method. If you have any question, drop it at the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos from us.
Also let us know your opinion and how you feel about this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. See you in my next video.